Family on Aku Show. Today it's another beautiful day here in Freetown and it's me, Sedin K. Guys, I know it's been long that uh, I've not been uploading videos. Actually, I've been preparing some stuff for you, some good things, uh, as always. So today it's a beautiful show, Sedin Show, and I'm here with some guests. We are coming to discuss on something that uh, could be very interesting to you. So we're going to talk about something that could be very interesting to you guys. And my guest here will be helping me. So let me start by introducing them. Uh, on my immediate right, we have Ishmael Majid Conte. Yeah, my wonderful people, I want to give you the best greeting. May peace be upon you all. Yes, and another guest we have, you must have uh, seen him before in my previous video, is no less a person but K O M E. Hey, what's up, my people? It's your boy K O M E. Welcome to the Sedin K Show. Yes, guys, so today we are going to talk about uh, the things you should be expecting when you get into Freetown, or things that you may possibly see, is it not? Yes. Right. Yes, yes. Surely. Yes. Okay. So yes, what we are going to talk about is what you will surely expect whether you're coming from the province or whether you're traveling by air coming to Freetown. But from what I learned before going to this topic or before helping me to discuss about this is either you're traveling by air that is coming uh, by the international airport because there's only one airport in Israel, of course, which is uh, the Lunge International Airport. Yeah. Or you travel by road coming into Freetown. Well, today Ishmael Majikonte is going to tell us uh, what you experience or what you should expect when traveling by road coming into Freetown, especially coming from the province. And Kome is going to tell us what you actually experience when uh, traveling by air. That is coming from the Lunge International Airport into Freetown. Basically, that is what we're going to talk about today. You, we are actually going to tell you what are the experiences that you should expect. That like this, surely you see it when you get into Freetown. So we will start uh, with uh, Kome. When coming to Australia by air, what do we actually expect? Anyone who's coming from that is going to face. Hey, what's up, my people? It's your boy K O M E R. I think it's a thing, K. The first expectation is, uh, like we say, we have only one airport for now in Saloon. The whole Saloon, we have one airport, which is the Lunge Airport. And uh, while coming to the Lunge Airport, for now we have two means of coming here. We have coming through the west part and coming through the east part. Coming through the east part, we have the government ferry there, which brings you to Ferry Junction. And coming through the west part, we have Seacoach. Seacoach is a private company. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Seacoach is a private company. It's, it's just something luxurious because it provides you with their immediate bus, which picks you up from the airport brings you to their lounge or their reception where you have to wait for their boats to come mm -hmm. and you're on board they have live jackets uh, i think the, the the private ferry takes mm -hmm. up to 50 people mm -hmm. and each 50 seats have a live jacket you've been there right yeah yeah we, the we, we did uh, the we did me. yeah <laughs> you know, check my have you ever been the 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 blog for sea coach. and uh yes it brings you to abadin so firstly when you come to abadin the first thing you see it's the sea coach reception when you go outside, you see a fine, beautiful bridge giving you two sides of giving you a slum view and a pretty view where you have the sea coach uh, ferries and yes, boats. the terminal. Yeah. Yes. So yes. So coming through Ferry Junction, you get to see the ferry onboarding. You get to see petty traders. You get to feel the the ambience of local traders, local people. You get to feel the the one thing you need to be expecting to see always in the streets of Freetown Saloon is noise. We are very, very loud. That is one thing you should notice, uh, you should know about Saloon people. We are very peaceful, we are very friendly, but we are very loud. So, okay. and I think the most popular sound is Top Up, Top Up, Afisel, Yatel, Voucher, Top Up. So these are, <laughs> these, are, these are people selling Richard cards everywhere. Right. <laughs> and yes, so yeah. We have petty traders, they'll come if you're in a car, they'll come even if you're in a cab. Mm -hmm. And you already know that we have three means of transportation for now in Salon. Mm -hmm. We have the Keke, we have the, which is a tricycle, mm -hmm. we have uh, Okada, which is a motorbike, and we have Poda Poda, which is the 
minibus and yeah. we have the cab which is the taxi yeah. so yeah. it's four so uh -huh. yes so expect to take each one of these or you have your private pickup and yes petty traders ambience loud noise expect to feel music wherever you pass very loud music if mm -hmm. possible <laughs> because it's not controlled so yes of so course. i feel like that's 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 what you should expect thank you very much yes. thank you very much come in. so uh come i've actually told you a lot about it yeah so basically what is what i understood is like uh you're gonna cross a river because we we're talking about boats yes the airport is uh, actually uh, the, the location of the airport separated from freetown the airport is not in freetown okay so uh, lunge is divided uh, by the sea right by the sea yes, yes the yes, sea is separating freetown and lunge freetown. and the airport is at lunge so if you want to come to freetown you actually have to take on board a boat either the government or the sea coach, the private boat, or yeah. seabird. Seabird, yeah. yes. Sea so to cross to Freetown. So that is one experience you're going to get. You're going to sit on the water. But there is actually another way coming to Freetown. But before we talk about that, let's uh, hear from uh, Ishmael Magic Content. Let him tell us uh, what is uh, the experience coming from the province into Freetown. Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, my people. Once more, I want to greet you and I want to say good day to you all and uh, the question you have asked me is something very much important mm -hmm. for those that are living in the provinces mm -hmm. you know um, uh, we have the headquarter in every district headquarter towns mm -hmm. for the government bus mm -hmm. and we also have the public bus okay. the public transport the means of transportation yeah mm -hmm. um, uh, before going to the public means of transportation let me first of all restrict my um, discussion to the um, uh, you know the private boss okay now if you want to embark on a journey you want to um, you want to Travel like from yes from the provinces like to the to free town to be specific mm -hmm. the first thing you need to do you need to book a ticket okay yeah when having done that then you will feel safe to okay. travel from the provinces to Freetown to be specific. So, meaning coming by bus is more comfortable? Yes, it's more comfortable, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we come to the uh, the public means of transportation. Okay. Like uh, Mr. Kome was just saying, we have the taxi, you know, the poda poda, the, the, the mini bus. No, no, you can't take keke from the provinces. So, so I think it's not in Freetown. Yes, but, 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 no, what I'm saying, what, what, what I'm saying, Waterloo is not in Freetown, mm -hmm. but it's it's it near, it's closer to Freetown. Well, you know I feel, I'm like, saying? I feel but, like I have seen so many times, not once, not twice, Kekes go. I, have, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen I have. that. I haven't seen that. Have I've, I've tried that. I've tried that so many times, but I haven't from, seen that. I'm living in the provinces, mind you. I'm living in the provinces. I haven't seen. We are in Freetown. We made up. Most definitely. So. Like, if you um, like uh, take the public means of transportation, is either the taxi or the poda poda, the minibus, it will be very much uncomfortable for you. The car will be congested. Mm. You know, people are having their load. You know, people mm. are having their one or two things that it will make everything difficult for you. Okay. You know, the people will be jam packed okay. in the car. You are, you will not feel safe. You are not at liberty to do what you want to do. You like. Mm. You know? Yeah, yes. Entirely. Yeah. Okay. You you are at liberty. So coming to Freetown, you have the opportunity to um, meet the toll gates. Okay. Yes. The toll gate is something that is very much important mm. for we that are living in the provinces. So you yeah. feel it's a, it's a privilege crossing yes. toll gates. Yes. For me, for me, it's, for me, for me, it's uh -huh. a privilege. Uh -huh. And uh, one thing is the safety. Okay. Yeah. Why, why, why I said the safety is that, for example, just thinking that you embark on a public transport, you know, that is not owned and controlled by the government, mm -hmm. you know, and the toll gates, they will get, take record of the number plates that, is, that the car is carrying, okay. you know, how they, 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 you know, they are having a, like something like, that takes record of yes, every vehicle CCTV that is passing. camera. camera, okay. you know, so with that, if anything happens to you, you know, You'll they will get rid of it from the toll gates. Okay. You understand? For me, I think it's very much important and it's good. Mm. So these are some of the things that you will meet when coming from the provinces to um, Freetown. So basically, 
we you have the opportunity to meet three toll gates. Okay. One at I so think Bo? it's uh, um no it, for me I'm living in in, in Bo. Sorry sir. So uh, uh, the, you meet one at my Sheka. Okay. And my after is that, the first one. yes, just after my Sheka. Coming in yes. Yes. After my Sheka, you go to yes to Songo, and then from that you have Hastings. the opportunity to meet Hastings. Hastings. Yeah. Hastings. yeah? Okay. But no matter where you are living, the thing the, the thing that is more unique, no matter where you are living, mm -hmm. huh? Whether you are living in Makeni, Kenema, mm -hmm. Kutloko, this place, that place, the toll gate is in the center. You must meet it. You must <laughs> meet it. No matter what the condition is. Right, and you're you going to cross three it. toll gates. And you're going to cross three toll gates. Okay, so you see how safety it is? Mm. So for me, being in Sierra Leone, to be specific, being in Freetown, you know, it's a pleasure. Yeah? Mm. Because when traveling, especially if you use the, uh, the government bus, which is owned and controlled by the government, it will be more safety for you. Most definitely. So I want to rest my case here. I know you have a lot of questions to ask, but let me just step here. All right, no problem. Well, that is it, everyone. Uh, Ishmael is actually uh, from the province. He lives in Bo, the second city, as we know. And he, that is why he's handling this part of the topic. He actually has a lot of experience. Coming into Freetown regularly, he must have learned a lot about it. Yeah, I don't know where I'm coming, you've been traveling too. Well, that is what I wanted to say because you're emphasizing that this man has been living there, that is why you gave him. So, okay. Mind you, uh, mind well, mind you, you I haven't been traveling by, by air. Listen, listen. <laughs> we will together very soon. <laughs> yes, I, uh, what I want him to know is that I was living in Freetown, yeah? Mm -hmm. the, due to one or two reasons, that makes me to migrate from Freetown to the provinces. Okay. So, you know, I have two ideas. I have the ideas of living in Freetown, I have the ideas of living in provinces, you mm -hmm. know, so I know... So you're I, an I, affiliate I, of both I, I can say, I can say, I know more than you, in, in, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, but, but <laughs> from what I learned is, uh, come here, come here, you two, you, you, have, you have traveled out of Australia. Yes, I That's have. Obvious. I have so it's okay, no problem. You don't need to be traveling to the o overseas, UK, yeah, 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 yeah. Mean, yes. I so have, I have been, been out of salon. Uh -huh, no, no, it doesn't matter where, it's okay. <laughs> The most important thing you have traveled as a salon, right? Good. So this topic is good for you. Handle it. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. Surely. <laughs> so uh, speaking of uh, coming to Freetown by air, uh, one thing I want to learn, uh, what I was have is uh, how easy, how easy it is to come inside Freetown. Like talking about uh, the easy access coming into Freetown. I mean, like the roads or the traffic. How how is it? How easy it is? Well, I remember uh, 2007, 8 coming to Freetown was hectic because there were no roads. And uh, but now everyone. What do you mean there were no roads? There were no roads in the sense the road system was very very points in in in, in Salon coming to Freetown, going to the province. Now I spent two, three hours traveling a journey, 2007, 8, that I used to spend seven hours. If I leave in the morning, I will reach in the evening. But going, now, going where? Going to Bo, going no, to I'm, No, you leave that one for Ishmael. Okay. I want you to tell us, when somebody comes by air, crossing the river, taking the boat, like, how easy it is to get to your location within okay the so yes so hey what's up my people with your boy k-o-m-e so uh like i told you we have two sides if you're being dropped or you're using sea coach it's abadin if you're using ferry the the government ferry it's at ferry junction now leaving ferry junction if you're coming to the east part it's easy you can go but uh i think there's somewhere we call poti Mm -hmm. Where we have so many traffic and one of the unique things about Salon, Freetown is the traffic. We have traffic. If you're not used to, sal to traffic in your countries, expect traffic here. Because uh, whether you're using the west part, whether you're using the east part, there is lots of traffic because we have roads under construction right now. Yeah. The most important roads the biggest roads are under construction right now we have two roads i think right yes Celine? we have two roads under construction so the roads we're using right now in town the main roads we're using are very tight they're very tight so yes you will expect traffic you'll expect so the best means of transportation is the okada which is the motorcycle that is fast you take a care 
you 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 be late or you go slow. You take the mini bus, which is the puda puda, you be late or you go slow. You take the cab, you be late or you go slow. And you saw the new road I posted in my vlog uh, lately, the Peninsula Road. It is free, right? Yeah. But there are times. You, 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 you have traffic there, right? Yeah, but it's hardly because the road it's is spacious. It's, it's four lane. Basically, comments trying to explain to us that motorbike, Okada, boom, boom, is the fastest means of traveling. If you're coming to Freetown, I mean, like, uh, that's what you should expect. If you have your own vehicle, well, possibly, but sometimes, sometimes, like in the mid afternoon, traffic is less. In my own experience, in the evening, most people are coming from work, it's going to be congested. Well, uh, thank you very much for coming. Now, uh, Ishmael Magic Conte. Of course, now there is obviously one way you do. I don't know whether there is another way you can come through West from the province, but what is the experience? How easy it is, like coming from the province? Like if I'm coming directly, like where we are, Lomli, coming here, how easy it is in terms of road and in terms of uh, traffic? Well, uh, it is very difficult, yeah? Um, uh, basically, we are having two locations where um, uh, the driver or the car mm -hmm. will stop. Okay. One at Shell, okay. there's a place called Shell, okay. and uh, one at Jui. Okay. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Having done that, you have to embark on, on, on another journey. Okay. And the thing that will welcome you to Freetown, mm -hmm. above all other things, but the thing that will welcome you to Freetown is the traffic mm. and the noise. Please, when coming to Sierra Leone, to be specific in Freetown, expect noise, expect traffic. The month of all, I am coming to that. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Ta ta talking about talking about the noise, you have people in the streets like the kids, you know, the uh, even the big people, the adults. Yeah, they were like voucher top up, top up. Mm. You don't buy it top up, yeah. We are we having people like cold water day, change, cockroach, a lot of that. You understand? These are some of the things. These are some of the things you would expect. Okay. These are the yeah. items of the street. Yeah, people like if if you have your private car, you will have so, uh, those street sellers that will come and meet you. Black, piado, I get your fresh out. If I breathe, I get fine thing for that steering though. Know. You understand, eh? Yeah. So these are some of the things you expect, but above all, the traffic, the traffic. Okay. Now, having finished your travel from the provinces to Freetown, what you have to do, you have to, like for me, I'm living in the west part of Freetown. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you have, so you have to embark on another journey. You understand? Which you, it, it's your choice. You have liberty to choose whether you want to take Kurapoda, whether you want to embark on a taxi, on a keke, on Okada. Oh. But Okada is very much expensive. Despite the fact that it is the easiest way and it's very much fast, but it's very much expensive. Than all the other means. Yes. Transport. As for me, I, I, I don't think I can embark on Okada from like Shell or like, you know, Jue to West. It will cost me something like $30. Wow. Yes, most definitely. No, $30. $30. No, $3. $3. $4. $30,000. Yes. So it's expensive, yeah? Okay. So what I normally do is that I embark on either a keke okay. or a taxi. Well, anyways, that is it, everyone. We have actually had traffic is the number one thing you should expect. That is general. On both sides. Come on Both sides. And uh, Ishmael. Province or abroad or any part of the country or from here. Well, uh, one more thing as we are almost at the end of this uh, session. But what I want us to talk about is that uh, what my own observation, the people of Freetown are very friendly. Very Will friendly. You not, not, not even Freetown, in Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone. People of Saloon. The people that are living in Sierra Leone I feel are very good. I am sure I have been to... I've been out of Saloon. Yeah. I know how hospitable other people are. But trust me, it's not compared to Salon. Salon, I, I, I know that is the unique thing about us. Two unique things. Peaceful. We're very peaceful. Secondly, we're very hospitable. Okay. Hospitable. Trust me, we are hospitable. So he said, okay, Mr. Majid, I feel like that's one thing I can stand wherever and talk about. Or I think about Salon. in connection to hospitality, I think I have an example that I, I don't know if... 
Esther Dean K will permit me to give my experience about well, the if people. You make it brief. Would yeah, you I will make, make it brief. Yeah. It. yeah. You know, at one time, I traveled from Bo to Freetown, and at that time it was a curfew. Okay. Yeah. Because of the COVID nineteen. Yes. Because of the COVID nineteen coronavirus. Okay. So at that time it was ten o'clock. Yeah. After ten, no one is allowed to be out. All right. Yeah? So at that time it was around nine thirty, and uh, and I was like confused. Okay. Yeah. My problem is, if I am back on a journey now, if I say I will take transport, uh, it will be very much difficult for me, and the time will, will not permit me to do that. Mm. And the place where I was, I wasn't having any person that I would call, like, please come and pick me, I'm here now. You understand? So I was in that state of confusion, then I met, uh, someone met me, the person was like, oh, what's your problem? And I was like, yeah, uh, my name is Ishmael Majid Conte. I first introduced myself. My name is Ishmael Majid Conte and I'm living in Bo, but um, my parents or my family, uh, they are in the west part of Freetown, but I don't think I can go there now, you know, and um, considering the, the, the coffee, the time and the traffic and all mm -hmm. other things. And you know, people are also, they, they are hasting towards the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, the man was like, can I host you? Okay, okay. And I was like, really, you want to do that? The man said, yes. He said, what are, he said why are we living in Sierra Leone and we, we, we are testifying the fact that we are peaceful? And the man was like, taking me to his home, you know, I take shower. Okay. The, he, 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 so he was very hospitable, even when he doesn't know Seriously, we have never met before. Oh. And it, he was a man, not a woman. Okay. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> he was a All man, right, not a woman. So, you understand? Okay. He gave me food. The thing that beats my imagination is that when I was coming back, and I, I wanted to appreciate him by giving him a little something, okay. and he was like, no, don't do that. I will give you transport. Wow. Yes. And the man gave me 30,000 leons. Wow. That is $3 and, a day. And, and I was like, the three dollars he couldn't spend, it was given back to him. Yes, I was like, <laughs> people are living in this part of the country that are so hospital. Uh, Sierra Leone is very good. Yeah, that's, that, is very that, that's good. a very good experience. It's a very good yes. place to live, yeah? Mm. Please, when coming to Freetown, when coming to Sierra Leone, you'd expect these things, most definitely. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, uh, thank you very much, Ishmael Malikonte. Well, guys, I hope you must have learned something in this video, learning from these uh, two wonderful guys. Uh, Ishmael Magic Conte from Bo and K O M E from Comet Vlogs. Uh, well, guys, we have almost ended this topic. I think if there is anything we left out, guys, people living in Freetown, Sierra Leone, please leave your comments and so that we can also learn from you what are the things you expect when coming to Freetown, whether from the province, whether from the, uh, traveling by sea. We didn't even talk about traveling by sea, but anyways, uh, you can tell us how it actually feels like traveling by sea, coming to Freetown. I feel it's just the same because when you come by here, you're going to cross the river. Yeah, sure. So, uh, that is it, everybody. Come here, Ishmael. What, what, do you have any last statements? What do you want to say to people? Visit Salon today. Visit Salon today to kill all the negative things you've been hearing or seeing about Salon before myself and Issa Dinke embarked on the Salon to the World journey. So basically, like I told you before, it was everything of negative war, blah, blah, blah. So come to Salon, live in Salon, feel Salon, then I believe your mindset about Salon will change. Thank you very much, Comment. So, uh, Mr. Ishmael, what will be your last statement for the show? Yes, um, my last statement is, in Sierra Leone, we are having um, a foundation called Empowering Less Fortunate Children Foundation. In this foundation, we empower the less fortunate children, the street children, those children that are less fortunate, the orphans, the needy, you know. Um, it's very much good if you can help them. Um, their email is empoweringlessfortunate at gmail.com. I think this is it. And don't forget, when coming to Freetown, to Sierra Leone, learn how to say Kushe, Cabo. 
<laughs> Out the body. I hope say they do fine. Okay. These are some of the words that are common, and you start your discussion with someone with these words. Kushe, Kabo, Out the body. I am Ishmael Majid Conte, and I love you all. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I really appreciate that you traveled from Bo to uh, come grace this uh, wonderful show. And K O M E, thank you very much, too. So that is it, everybody. Uh, we are at the end of the show, and I really, really, really appreciate it that you've watched till this end. And of course, Salon is always a very peaceful country, as Komen said, and these guys have all already testified to it, even from his personal experience. So it's been a wonderful time. 